So next, <laughs> next is. <laughs> Oh fuck! Next is um, <laughs> uh, a bundle by Vincesity that is being called the uh, Grab Bag Garbage Bundle, and this one has been vetted properly. <laughs> like a digital fart sorry everything is hyper funny to me right now because of that previous stuff welcome to the future have fun in 2020 so bad can I have more toast please This has been the most fun I've had all night. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Welcome to the future. <laughs> the year is 2020. <laughs> future cream huh I want it to be like that fucking Terry Gilliam cartoon in Monty Python where he puts shaving cream on his whole head and then uses the razor on his neck and just chops off the entire head Why you like baby face? Play, uh, play game. Press space to play game. I don't know, the future seems pretty cool. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, the production value. Fuck you, birds! <laughs> Press space to vile robot. This game, though, it's it's like several games. It's a little Metroidian jump there. What what is that? Chat, place your bets. What is this item that I'm going to pick up? I think it's a scud. I don't know what it was actually. Well, I guess we'll never find out. Oh, that's insta death. Gum. We'll never know. It doesn't matter.
Well, I mean, it plays like a video game. It works. That's something that, what you know, it wasn't exactly working before. I'm really, um, really happy about that. But... I don't want to play the robot game. That's why I'm going to drive someplace else. Big business. <laughs> Why did you even apply here anyway? You look cute today. Oh, you. I would hire you on the spot, but sadly you've got competition. You're going to have to go against other fellas who want this position. We've got to meet our government-mandated human worker quota. But we only want the best. If you win, you will get the job and I will pay you in something neat. So get out there and win. I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines. Oof. <laughs> wow. That robot isn't a human, though. What do you mean? That's not a robot. That's a human. Look, look, he's wearing clothes and a hat. I can't, I can't play this game. Why do you turn into blood is the best question I've heard all night. I don't know. Water turns you into blood. I don't know. I don't know. Wow. Oh my god. That wasn't a human. You know, we really wanted that other guy to win. I said I would pay you with this funny object. But to be honest, I would rather drink this poison than pay you. Now this is good Sunday. <laughs> what if... What is this? <laughs> Wickdonald's! <laughs> it says drink. Oh, I'm gonna die. Uh, this has been a... This has been a weird night. It's been a weird night. It, it's not taking a lot to make me laugh tonight. Okay. Alright, here we go. Hello, what would you like to order from me? Can I get a Burger King burger? I'm calling the police. You can't order a Burger King burger at McDonald. music really conveys a sense of dread. Well, Wick Donald has been defeated. All that leaves is, is Robot. It has to be done. Just the 
shots. Yeah, they take so goddamn long. To kill. The, the worst part about this is, I think this might be the best game I've played tonight. I mean, art school was cool in its own way, but... I mean, this made me laugh a lot. Please tell me I won. Did I do it? Did I do it? Did I win? You son of a bitch. Got it! Wow. I did it. Winner. You are win. What? Why? too loud. I can't lower it now, though, because it, it'll fuck everything up. Okay, we're good. Tube dimension. More. Fuck. Jesus? Hey, it's me, J. Christ. Thank you for defeating my most evil rival. But most of all, thank you for playing this game. This is truly the end of an evil age. I even have a gift for you. Oh, a VOD mute and a copyright uh, strike? Awesome. That's exact. Thanks, Jesus. Awesome, Jesus. Thank you. Fuck yeah. That was called A Day in the Future. And if it's any indication, then this, this is going to be an interesting next hour and a half. Ant Bassador is the name of the next one. The Ant Bassador... He, he has come to Antopia from some place. He seeks to earn our favor and cement the uneasy peace between us. Um, our fate lies in his hand. If he plays it well, something or other, I didn't see. Oh, my finger. Someone said, did you actually have any Sunday streams uh, get copyright claimed? Yep, several. But uh, most recently, the Dreamcast showcase from last week. Some of that music that was in the Dreamcast games got claimed. Blessed be the queen. What the fuck? Oh, 
<laughs> partake in the gate switching ceremony. This game is magical. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. Come on. Okay, no, I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> oh no, why is this such a... Why is this such a huge task? Am I missing controls? Just flip it? Can't... It won't let me flip it. There doesn't seem to be a wrist rotate button. Move your wrists? I want to move my pingor. Okay. Oh, come on. So close. So close! Yes! Oh, fuck off. Wait, you're not supposed to kill the ants? <laughs> oh, that crunchy noise. There's your hat. That's it. Just gotta knock the hats off. You don't kill them, you just knock the hats off. Well met, Ambassador. Word of your good deeds has reached my antennae. This era of peace was hard fought. We must seal our newfound al allegiance by common blood. Marry Princess An Anastasia. Crown her as your queen. Um, okay, this is getting a little weird. Like, weirder than it started, even, somehow. Wear your stupid hat. Here it is. Ah! <laughs> no, these aren't... ...intentional kills, actually. Only the first one was intentional. You have to wait for the dialogue before you can pick up the crown. This is the most frustrating experience. The most floppy of, of fingers as well.
Go ahead. <laughs> I pose this union. This union. Union. What? Antonio, I still remember the scars of war, the destruction of this ambassador has wrought upon our people. Oh, whatever. Antonio, you were born last week. A duel. A duel, is it? Have at thee. Our peace has indeed been sealed by blood. I pray it is the last drop. Now let us greet Antonia and Topia as the new royal family. Absolutely mental. You know what? This stuff isn't garbage. Oh, I made this logo, by the way. Do you like it? I found the greasiest bag I could find. This one's called Bemis. Not the Bemis and Serena Weeth. So it was hip to. Never mind. Holy Stromboli that stung. Stupid bee. Okay, the bee's gonna die anyway. Bees don't live very long without their stinger, right? I curse all bees to be dead and bad. They can? Gee, I must have really peed in that god's oats. Now all my friends are dead. My house is also dead as well. Now this is what I like to call... The Curse of God. Bemis. You must defeat all prophets, seers, and revelators. Nice. <laughs> it was this made by the person who made the first game of the evening? Stankulous. <laughs> 322 pounds. A nice and good fish. Yeah, this is definitely made by that person. Fubular. Shh, it's sleeping. Edmund. One million pounds. Uh oh. Oh no. They come. That wasn't my duck button. Don't come to this pond no more, capiche? Mob ducks. It's skull time? Explain. What does that mean? I'm fighting skull people. That was disgusting. Burger. Burger. I only have five healthyless. That's okay. If I collect burger, I'm fine. Burger. I like the world in which you can eat burger to get health. That's the world I want to live in.
<laughs> those S's. Welcome to Stink Forest, full of stinkular fruit. Is that Mar Mario? <laughs> Yahoo! Here, let me let me do the correct voice. There are two kinds of people, winners like you and losers like my stepson. I don't think I'm going to be able to play through all this game because I suck. Gotta kill them other boys, dude. <laughs> That's the name of that level. It's just, I want to see the levels at least. Is it Bart? <laughs> it's Bart! I am but a stinkular boy. Do not talk to me. I love the person who made these games. If I can use a controller with this. No, nope. that would probably fix some of the issues I have with it, but it's not a bad controlling game. The, the game is actually pretty decent if you want to play a game that, that is like this. You could do a whole lot worse. Consume Pantaloon! Hey, boy! It's your old pal, Krusty! You know I'm your... I'm your real... Fuck. I can't do Krusty without belching. I know it's gross, but I'm just telling you the truth. You know, see? I'm your real. F okay, never mind. Gremblo says, um, who made this phone? Can you taste your own mouth or does it not ha have a taste? What's cranking my guy going to meat area? You want anything? Borgor. <laughs> Borgor. <laughs> Who made this phone? Samuel Sung made this phone. <laughs> Can you taste your own mouth? I do not know the answer to that one. What's cranking, my guy? Oh, you know, just stretching around. Gotta go. Scumbular B. Spuffment? I mean, there are people that are saying, Vinny, are you sure you didn't make this game? I'm not so sure now. Did I make this during like some kind of fever dream? Yeah, like when I was uh, when I was sick with strep throat later in uh, 2018, you know, when I was gone, I wasn't streaming for like a week and a half. 
Maybe I was making this. By the way, when you press the Z button, it just says Z. It doesn't do anything, it just says Z. That's very scumbular. Press C, follow me. Well, I haven't completed any of the other levels, so I'm not about to start now. But, um... Yeah, no, this is- this is cool. Factory first, brah. Subscribe to Blemgo on YouTube. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to promote Blemgo, because I don't know what they do exactly, but it, that's what it said just there. Maybe Blemgo made this. Maybe Blemgo is my alter ego. Also, notice that this is, um, that's probably the ending over there. And it looks like a, like a stairway to heaven. Maybe every one of this dude's games ends with you meeting Jesus. Next is, um, Data Boss Fight. Oh. Any of you played this one? Um, no. You get another game I don't remember that I've already streamed. This is gonna happen every Sunday from now on. If there's a game collection, there's gonna be at least one game I have- I've played. Maybe several. It turns out I'm well on my way to playing every game that's ever been made. So there's bound to be repeats. Okay. <laughs> that's enough of that. Dress code human. Vinny, what will you do when you complete video games? So when I complete video games, what will my stream be? Sausage. Yeah, or video games too. Party starts in two minutes, dress up. would think to make something like this. Oh. These these noises. Foot. 
I, I am now a real person. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got a sick tattoo, dude. Charming as can be, ready for the party. I was hoping that I could maybe replace the ear on the on the groin. Do I have a tail? Did I accidentally give my character a tail? <laughs> no, Jay, your human has a tail. Good. What a game. what a human looks like, yes? Look, it is- it is I, human. Alright, those are just on there now. So many options. Got some, some boots and everything. Look at this. Oh. Well, yeah, this is this is my own original character. This is my OC. Do not steal. Skelarita. Skeletoria. Colloquialism. Next is Duck. I, I already love it. Okay. So, wait, Hotline Miami, but with Duck? You don't have any control over when you shoot, you just shoot. You, you actually shoot to the beat. God damn it. It's not easy.
kind of cool though, in its own way. Very, very, very difficult, but perhaps worth the time. Not bad for a game jam. And also duck, it's a green duck. Of course I'm gonna like a green duck. I'm a sick fuck who likes a green duck. Okay, that was duck. Uh, next is Farming Simulator 2008. Remember, I still have a Farming Simulator on the Switch that I've been dreading for a while. It will happen. Eventually. But anyway, this is Farming Simulator 2008. And it looks crusty and possibly made by Blamco or whoever. Blembo. Bling Blungo. It's time to do some farming. Mm -hmm. Boy, do I love farming. I hope you don't mind me just hanging out here on the menu for a second so I get to hit, hear the sick guitar playing. You can press any button to start farming. It's time to do some farming. That's good stuff. Okay, I'm ready now. It's a good, good, good guitar solo. Fill yourself a bucket of milk. Oh, this is like that one-two switch game. Oh no! No! Not another one. Fucking noises. It's gonna be a Tums Mirage tonight. Oh! Yeah, it's the illusion of Tums, but I'm not actually gonna take any. Nice one, but it also says good job. That's part of being a farmer. God, that's really loud and annoying. Rockstar's gonna sue. They just basically lifted that whole game engine from Red Dead Redemption 2. It's 
But it was all just a dream. Oh my god. It was all just a scummy dream. What a plot twist. Okay. <laughs> well, the game just closed. <laughs> Just when you thought you were going to get more lore. Corn. So, this has been interesting. Next is Final Fantasy VII Remake Demo Leaked. Holy shit. I have it. I have it early. Here on Sunday on Vine Sauce. It's finally here. Final Fantasy VII Remake Demo. Now, I can't tell you where I got this from, but take my word for it. It's going to be... It's going to be great. Oh. Well, <laughs> it's called Gone Crab, but, but the na they named it Final Fantasy VII Demo. So, that's not my jape on you. That was their jape on all of us. It's a really nice looking game. And I like Herman Crabs, they're cool. Ah, look at that one. That one's cool. It's like air traffic controller crabs. They're directing some sort of aircraft. <laughs> this is a nice beach ball going mental in the background there. Kid in the background going fucking crazy. It went like this, it went... Shellfish of me to turn down a new home. The life of a hermit crab. It's a hard life. My crab is sizzling. Dying. Ah, it exploded. That poor crab. I'm just going to try to make it all the way to the end. So I'm going to make the most of my, um, my shells. That's a good one. You eventually outgrow shells, yeah. So it's, it, like, you grow with the shell, and then eventually you get bigger shells, I think. So you don't want to let them go too soon. 
but you also don't want to be in the same shell for too long. Uh, yeah, there's crab strats. Go in the water, you die. You don't die. Why would you... Man, what a fucking sad life that would be. A hermit crab that dies in the water. I think... I need another shell really bad. Come on! No! No! One more time. It's kind of addictive in its own weird way. I, I mean, I don't want a crab to burst into fucking flames, but I also... I think I just, you know, move to the the harder locations too quickly. There are no shells here. This is a godless zone. Fuck. I tried to go into the shade. Ready for toasty explosion <laughs> explosion crab. Uh, one more time. One more time. I just want to watch the crab die. It's fun. Go in the water to keep cool. Is that real? Well, how would anyone know? I mean, has anyone ever even played this game? Unless that one dude who made the previous weird games also made this. Whoa! I don't believe the water helps. This game, it's cool, I just, I wish I could get a better grasp of what kind of shell I need. Like, I know, as you get closer to it, green means it's good. You want green. You don't want red. Orange means you've outgrown it. pop off on their own? Okay. Orange just means go look for a new shell. That's a good one. I'll try to hang out around here a little bit. Until I grow big enough to go more right. Someone said, what's the name of this game they want to play? It's called Gone Crab. And I actually really like this. This is a nice little game, and I'm terrible at it. 
but I've, you know, picked up some crab strats along the way. <laughs> when do I get to, um, when do I get to use a soda can? Now we're getting we're getting nice and big. I want to be the world's first soda can hermit crab. Hagrid, check it out. We're getting massive. Rabamari Damacy. Something like that. These shells are too small. go. There we go. Oh, some good ones over here. Oh, that one broke. It's my own goddamn fault. Oh, I'm getting fucking mad. I'm as big as those giant crabs in the distance now. Almost. They're going to be so proud of me. Massive. Maybe if I was as big as them. Okay, I have to get bigger. Oh, now I can do it. Nope, not yet. Now I can do it. <laughs> What an awesome game. I don't know why it says 0 out of 10. I don't know what that means, but all right. That part might be slightly glitched. Crab game was excellent. He, You died on the boat. Oh, well, there you go. Final night zombie street fight. You didn't have a shell on at the end, so it was 0 out of 10. Oh. I thought you had to, like, use the boat as a shell. Because it wasn't letting me on earlier, but... That's okay. In our hearts, we know we were a good crab. Created by Poison Games. Oh my god. Well, this is <laughs> this is a complete tonal shift from Crab Game. It's been one year since the world went down. One year since the outbreak. We've lost a lot of good people and going to lose more, but we're still going strong. We must fight the undead. Night Town. It's been one week since the battle me. Ah. Going to find and fist a zombie. Someone said, Vin, Poison makes great games, in quotation marks. I, I think great was in quotation marks, actually. So this is a known developer, then? Mm. 
the way my character's pants are in motion, it kind of looks like Laguna from Final Fantasy VIII. Pizza? Oh yeah, just collect random pizza on the floor in the distance to get your health back. Punk zombie twin. So zo zombies have the capacity to fight in like a fist fight. Well, not really. I mentioned Final Fantasy VIII a lot, and it, it's the anniversary. I want to remind people that the game exists, because Square forgot. Someone just said, for good reason. I, I, I don't, I don't like you. I think Final Fantasy VIII is a way better game than people give it credit for. But, you know what? Whatever. I streamed it like six years ago, and I, I was expecting to dislike it very much. And I ended up really liking it. Surprisingly! Vinny, well, it hasn't aged... It hasn't aged well in the last six years. Oh, okay. Well, six years is a big difference. Would you stream it again? Probably not for a couple years, but maybe. Oh, don't get me wrong. It's not a perfect game. It is needlessly convoluted and silly, and it's got some dopey-ass fucking characters. The only thing I remember about Zell is that he, eat, he eats hot dogs. And I know that's incorrect. He looks like a chocobo, and he eats hot dogs, and that's it! That's all I remember! But I don't really, um... I really don't mind, because there's a lot of aspects of that game that are fun. Not the junction and draw system, particularly, but... Someone said, can we see the next game, please? Oh no, this is a full playthrough of this, this wonderfully varied, exciting, um... <laughs> Uh, you know, Sunday stream worthy game. Poison zombie game. The worst part is, it's not the worst game I played tonight by a long shot, and it's a functional beat em up. You've heard the expression good game feel? I saw that zombie going mental for a second. For a shitty game, it had decent game feel, it wasn't that bad. This one's called Hero as a Hobby. Okay. Hero as a hobby. Oh! Thanks. Oh. So listen. We've gone from crabs to ultra hyper realistic zombies to magical anime girls. Level one. Select your character. Select your character. Is that Marin from Link's Awakening? No. Vinny, that's Unity's mascot. Uh, that's Unity Chan, the official mascot of Unity. Unity Chan. Oh my God! Really? That's their official mascot. A gigantic monster has been found across the island. <laughs> Follow the directional arrow and defeat it as fast as possible, hero. Mission begins in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> it's, so <laughs> it's so fast! <laughs> yeah, this is exactly what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, it's got a nice layer of Unity crust. Some nice shitty frame rates. Oh man, what a what a night. What am I fighting for? I think it's potted cactus plants. Yep, it's potted cactus. Was that a raptor? Did they just download a bunch of prefabs and throw them all in one game? Yes, right? Or should I say, yeah! Spider Chen. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. I guess I could just fly through everything and not have to fight. If I don't want to fight, I, I don't have to. I can just keep going. That's cool. Freedom. Choice. Raptor. Live forever. This is it. The lair of the monster. Go forth, hero. Slay it before any more damage is done. Some fucking janky controls. Oh boy. I'm trying real hard to fucking fight. You know what, though? This at least has better frame rates than Damon X Machina. A game I, I want desperately to... Like, I want to buy that game when it comes out. I actually have been thinking about it. I was like, you know what? That was kind of fun. Let's hope they fix it. Wasn't as bad for me. Some people said the frame rates were good for them. Some people said the demo sucked for them. Some people said the demo made them want to get the game. One thing about that game I can say for sure is it's divisive as fuck. But I actually, maybe it's just because I never really played big mech games. I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. Vinny, statistically speaking, this is someone's first introduction to Vine Sauce. How does that make you feel? You know, it's better than the fucking alien vagina giving birth to a, a baby alien with a vagina giving birth to another alien. So, yeah. This is fine. It's really fucking boring. And it controls poorly. But I'm gonna fucking do it. I'm determined and I'm gonna defeat this giant thing. UFO man kaiju. That maybe the other characters are more interesting. I, 
I don't know. I don't know about that. If they don't, listen, if they have, like, ranged attacks, maybe. Also, notice how I have MP. But I don't know how to use said MP. Oh, whatever. I did it. I probably played the game wrong. But a game like this shouldn't be played with a fucking mouse and key I switch weapon. I have weapons now? Did I- oh, wait, no, this is a different thing. You've been using MP to fly? has been detected in the outskirts of City Z. Follow the directional arrow and destroy it as fast as possible, D. hero. Mission begins in five. Well, it's a shooter four, now, I think. Three, two, one. Now I can shoot magic. Now it is Damon X Machina. Yeah, it's all right. I don't know. Could be worse. Um, it's awkward. It's a very awkward game. But it's got some potential. I don't know what's happening anymore. Okay, that's that's enough of that one. That one's Hero's Hobby. Um, d better than I thought it was when I first started it, but I wouldn't probably play the whole game. Not bad, though. Leaf Blower is next. Well, this looks like a winner. <laughs> Obviously the mouse is not locked inside here, so you, know, you can see it just go like there it goes. I wonder if the house is also shutter stock. Yep. Yes, it is. Oh, and the sky, too. That sky is different from this sky. I don't know if there's a wind condition. You would assume it's get rid of all the leaves. Sounds like the fucking beginning to a corn song. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you, stock asset man. That might be one of the few games tonight that actually fits this particular image. Magitech City Blitz is next. Soon Shutterstock will just put their fucking mark on real life. Would you get Shutterstock tattooed on your, uh, across your chest for $10,000? I see a lot of yeses. Mostly yeses. For free, people said. A lot of people would just get it for free. You can't remove it. No, it's permanent. You, you're owned by Shutterstock at that point. You are one of their IP.
or 100k? No. Best we can do is 10. But it's tax-free 10, and it's it's a cool 10 in cash. Oh boy. I guess we've reached the anime portion of tonight's stream. <laughs> I, I don't know how to play this game. Now this controls like fucking absolute dog shit. I get it, she's supposed to be ice skating or like hover skating, but it's really, really, really impossible to control. So, um, so I, I've seen two comments about this character. The first is, one, this character looks like Susie from Kirby Planet Robobot, and then the other comment I saw was, Vinny, why does this character look like a sex robot? Call me crazy, but I kind of like the melody of the song. Maybe not this part. Okay, the game kind of crashed on me, but... What a... Translate? Oh, I believe um, the anime song was say saying something like, um, These are high heel boots. These are the way we shoot. These are the things we do behind closed doors. That doesn't help. Um, I need controls, please. That also doesn't help, because I, I wasn't using a controller. Interact, power up. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Why is everything in the Star Trek font? Oh yeah. Yeah, it is. Um... Th there's no attack button. <laughs> <laughs> I just picture like, like a, a three and a half foot tall, like at like living real life anime girl singing the song in like a sailor's outfit. That's. Oh, the attack is just you have to ram into the enemies. Why are these trees moving? What the fuck is wrong with these trees? Son, what's wrong with your tree? Well, the train is, um, on the way. I, for one, welcome the train. This one's, uh, called Midnight Mia. I think I see an anime eye. Yes, good. Huh? This cow comes out 
at midnight. Ah! Huh? They say if you beat the game, you can ascend to heaven without dying. Huh? If I don't act now, my reservation is gone for good. I must install a second too soon. Let's go. So this is the opposite of Mario saying that you go to hell before you die. To celebrate the new year, I um, decided to do something special for the occasion. Oh dear God. I tried wine for the first time in my life. Bad idea. I blacked out immediately. When I awoke, I was underwater, buried under sunlight. If that wasn't bad enough, I was drunk as funk, too. <laughs> of all the days to murder my luck! I fell out of bed and rolled into the pool. Normally, in a situation, I have a tutorial mode! Activate! To be honest, I'm not in the condition to make adult decisions. Where is this leading to? No! Oh, that's not going to get annoying. Next is called Ridiculous Fist. Oh. After that last game, I'm <laughs> I'm a little worried about this one. What kind of fists? What is this gonna be okay? <laughs> Someone in chat just said there's no way those clothes were staying on the whole game. <laughs> It's just, yeah, you, you control the character and then you fist. <laughs> what in God's name? Kind of a, kind of an okay game too so far. Is this Celeste? No, it's... it's, um... It's, it's called Fist something. So Fist, I don't know. I, I tried. Trent Reznor would like this game, I think. Then you need a second mouse. 
the world's first game that requires two mouses, two meese, mice. Ghosts. Yeah, I mean, those are my previous deaths, but why are they killing me? Oh, oh, they're not killing me. It's the fucking acid. Good. Wow, there's some cool mechanics in this game. I don't know- Oh. I was gonna say I didn't know what killed me, but then I saw what it was. It's gonna make a big, stump, dumb, stupid noise. Just the acid reminds me- it looks like an environmental effect. That's not, you know, dangerous. Play this. Let's try one more level. Skellington seem to not die. Huh. Wow. That was a cool game. That's called Ridiculous Fists. There's more levels if you want to try it out yourself. Pretty cool. I like, you know, I like weird platformers that have in an interesting game mechanic. And it's a little weird to get used to at first because you have, you know, you have to use um all three sides of your brain but um if you just set, set up a second mouse it's no problem the year is 1995 and the united conglomerates are abuzz with excitement at the imminent release of microsoft's game-changing operating system windows 95. As Seattle Junior's preeminent kid hacker you're one of the first to get your hands on the shiny new cd-rom disc Mere seconds after hearing the Microsoft sound for the first time, your video phone buzzes with a priority call from the first executive himself. Infomancers working for the foremost Teretsu have stolen vital information about the United Conglomerate's lot defense of lore. network. In order to smuggle the data out of the country, they placed it in the code of Windows 95 and hid it somewhere no one would ever look. The 3D Maze Screensaver. Once Windows 95 is widely released, they'll simply run the screensaver and retrieve the data. The okay. first executive orders you to enter cyberspace and find the hidden data packet before the infomancers. Okay. This is the first executive! The United Conglomerates thanks you for accepting this mission! I'm here with Central Operations! We'll <laughs> monitor your progress and advise you! Okay, so this is real simple. Just wander around the maze Shitty Rick. and look for the stolen files. You can activate attack mode by pressing Q. I don't know, you might like it. Gregory's right! Attack mode is great! This year, you can use it to toggle sections of the maze without affecting its structure by pressing the left mouse button. Actually, that sounds pretty boring, but who knows? Godspeed, huh? kiddo! Um, okay, so I need to explain this for someone who maybe didn't grow up. 
with Windows 95, which is probably a lot of people, listen, this was amazing. Cyberspace has never looked so three-dimensional. The geniuses at Microsoft have done it again. All right, Jesus. let me exp let me talk on my stream. Goddamn. So there's a screensaver that just went through this maze endlessly. And when I was 11, I remember going into a Staples and they had computers on display. They were the big bulky gray computers with the giant monitors. Dell, Gateway were the two big ones and, you know, HP, Compaq, all that stuff. And um, I just, I didn't have a computer until I was about 12 or maybe 13, something like that. Probably about 12. And I just remember they had this maze and it would flip and there would be weird little things that, that, that the dude would collect and it was a screensaver so it would you know you couldn't play it but it was amazing and the files must be in another maze truly insidious i don't know about you, you could two, like but i think windows 95 is living up to the hype where do you want to go today, Gregory? I don't know, I just want to stay home and hit the radar. I'm worried about you, Gregory! The game itself isn't good, but it's nostalgic to go back into the maze for a bit. Um... You know, yeah, you could replace the textures of the maze. You could also change a bunch of screensaver settings, like Windows 95 and 8, 98 had a bunch of screensavers that were, like, default. You know, you could just uh, change them, and then you could download things like The Matrix and a variety of other interesting screensavers that were fun. In fact, I had more fun with screensavers than I had with almost any other program. What's with all these maze rodents? Probably a Pipes were good. attempt at intimidation. Don't let them rattle you, kiddo. Is there a way that I could do a like a screensaver pun. stream? Trying to lighten the mood. At some point, I would like to do a screensaver stream from back in the day. But I don't know how I'd be able to do it. And just get like, you know, 15 of the most memorable or 20 of the most memorable um, screensavers. Probably have to do like a virtual box. Windows 95, 98, and download a bunch of... Hmm. And just co <laughs> do commentary over fucking screensavers. But it's weird, because I said the name of this game is Screensaver Subterfuge, by the way. It's weird because I actually do have nostalgia for fucking screensavers, and they are, a, like, a really large part of my early computer life. And, you know, I remember gaming was the obvious reason to get a fucking computer, but a screensaver wasn't so bad. It was kind of cool, man. I remember downloading some really good ones later on, too, in the 2000s. That had some neat particle effects. Um... Meanwhile, all you had to do was just turn your fucking monitor off. But that's why the, the screensavers were just fun in their own right. Again, the Matrix ones. Some of them you had to pay for. I didn't pay for the Matrix one. Shh. Don't tell anyone. Okay, it's uh, getting kind of late, so there's five games left. I'll save the other games for a different collection, combine them. This is called Super Mario Forever. Fun Mario? It's opening a separate file. Why? Why you do? Ah! Ah! Uh. This was a bad game to end on. I know this music now. 
It keeps changing window size. Oh, it's, it's fucking... Oh, it's rancid. It, it's such a clusterfuck. Hello. Oh, wait, no, that music was a uh, thousand year door or... Oh my god, oh my god. Joel played this? I haven't seen this. Honestly, I, I don't know. I just need to take a closer look at this, at this Mario. This is wrong. Yeah, no, this is wrong. What? That's not a toad. What is this toad noise? Press enter. It wants me to use a controller, yet I have to press enter to talk. Oh. What are all these effects? Oh, it's such a clusterfuck. Mario house. This looks like a fucking mobile game. I don't- I- it's just- I don't- I don't know what this- it- uh, I'm so confused! This game has a lot of history to it. I, um... Maybe one day I can learn a little bit about this history. But look at Mario's head. I mean, it almost feels like Mario. Now we have Super Paper Mario music. Which, let me just plug my Super Paper Mario stream. Currently in the middle of streaming. That's what I stream during the week. This is still Thousand Year Door? Alright, well, fucking mark me as an idiot. I'm not streaming Thousand Year Door, so don't show up during the week. Yeah, it's, it's Thousand Year Door music. Great. That's a slope. I'm supposed to be able to slide down the slope. I mean, they're making a whole game around this. It's called Mario Maker 2. God, everything's moving. Everything's bright. Everything's got a lens flare. Everything's got a glow. Everything's multiply... Like, everything has multiple segments. And it, it's just this... The camera keeps fucking moving and going mental. There's... Smoke. <laughs> like, what the fuck is happening? Welcome to, yeah, Dildo Valley. Exactly. I found a, a bab. Huh. Cool pipe. Yeah, this looks like the, the fucking skinny mushroom you get. In Super uh, Mario Maker. Like, there's no neck. Long limbs and no neck. I'm trying to, like, I, I, you know, I keep looking at Mario, I keep trying to pinpoint why does it make me uncomfortable. I guess that's why. Another cool feature of this game is that it doesn't close. Vinny, please play the classic version. Is it- is it called Forever? 
There's Mario in a Pikachu suit. Could have gone my whole life without seeing that. Soft Tendo. <laughs> um, this one doesn't have controller support. What? Why does this... What? So, the space bar just skips levels. I mean, it, this is much more uh, classic looking. Got some Mario All Stars assets that have been just <laughs> shamelessly stolen. But um, yeah, good. It's um, it's a Mario fan game. That's what it is. It's not as. Uh, why are they so fucking fat? Oh my god! Everything has like a baby voice in this series. This is as far from Mario music as you can get, and I press space accidentally to jump, and here we are again, skipping levels. What? Oh, it's a hardcore. Music is, is off-key, and we have another song layered on top of it. This is Goomba Battle Royale. Oh god, this is the Super Mario World song for, um, the, the castles. Lost map? No buzz. Questionable hitboxes. Okay. Yeah, there's too much here for me to unpack at 3.40 a.m. And, and... At the very end of a Sunday stream, after all this stuff that we played, there's no way I'm going to be able to figure it out what's happening here. But, now you've seen it. If you didn't see it from Joel, I guess you know- now, now you know it exists, and I wish I didn't. It's just a mildly uncomfortable feel. I don't know how to explain it fully, but... Mario Minix. There's- there's another game inside this game, called Mario Minix. Vinny, on the world screen, go to the right pipe. And there's a hidden thing. I don't know, I'm not even gonna bother. Maybe I'll return to that. You know what? There's another Mario Forever in that pack. There's Mario Forever um, 2016 in that pack. So, I'll probably... I'll play that. I'll save the games that I... I will save the games that I didn't play. And we'll add them to another collection. Do you remember that night I vomed? And I had to end the stream early? Well, there's still more games in that collection. So if I combine these with that, that's another segment. We'll call it the post-vom 
com. Vom games. <laughs> the leftovers. I don't know. The vom pack. The physically ill pack. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you, Vincesity, for these. Thank you, Sphinx. What a weird fucking... What a weird stream tonight was. We are now going to take a look at the art. I want to thank you all for joining. This has been Sunday. Live from New York! It is Sunday night! So yeah, now we can all uh, die. I mean, go to bed. We can all like stop watching the stream because it's over. Um, if you want to watch some art, I think tonight's art is going to be very interesting considering I had to draw earlier. And let's do it. Vinny, it's Monday. Okay, so live from New York, it was Sunday for 20 minutes during the stream. Starring a beetle, the 1976 L.A. Lakers, John Bon Jovi, and Frank J. Leno, Lando Cal... Anyway... And Bobby Moynihan, of course, always.